What is up, everyone? Welcome back. This weekend, I was sitting around watching film and decided I wanted to put together top 10 positional rankings for each position in the NFL, and we're just going to jump right in. At number 10, we have Eli Manning, just barely making the list. I just think he has all the physical tools you want. He's an okay decision maker, and he also has that incredibly clutch ability. Two Super Bowls under his belt. So number 10, Eli. At number 9, I have Carson Palmer. I think one of the most accurate Strongest arm quarterbacks in the NFL, but definitely uh, questionable decision making at time. Okay, extending plays, um, but definitely not his strongest ability there. Number eight, we have Andrew Luck. Coming off a rough year, uh, a lot of people had him in the top four or five going into last year. Um, I wasn't always that high. I think he still uh, has some poor decisions, definitely has some gunslinger uh, mentality to him, but. Definitely all the potential in the world to be number one on this list if he can put it all together. Number seven is Philip Rivers. And this is a guy that you see him playing so frustrated now, and that's because he has gone year after year with minimal help from his front office, from his line, from his entire team. Really just an awesome decision maker, very accurate, complete competitor. I love Philip Rivers. And number six, we have Russell Wilson. Uh, and this guy, his elusiveness and ability to get outside the pocket is just incredible. He has all the arm strength you want, and that ability to move is just awesome. So clutch. Russell Wilson, definitely worthy of number six. All right, and at number five, I have Cam Newton. And I've talked about Cam Newton before. Awesome arm strength, top two arm strength in the NFL, probably number one. And he's pretty accurate, but he does deal with a lot of incons inconsistencies. Uh, and then the thing with Cam Newton is he's a little overrated in terms of extending the play. I think he's incredibly flat-footed when he feels pressure, and he doesn't really make as many plays as you might think he does. Um, and he definitely falls under one of those offenses where it's a total first-read offense. And if his first, maybe his second read isn't there, he struggles a lot at times. So that's why he is uh, down here at number five, despite winning MVP last year. Number four is Ben Roethlisberger, and this is a guy that when I watched his film, I had to move him up because I honestly, I didn't realize how accurate Ben Roethlisberger is on a consistent basis. He does have a lot of similarities with Philip Rivers uh, in terms of how he's present in the pocket, very similar footwork, and really doesn't have an awesome arm in terms of arm strength. It's, it's probably just barely top 12. Um, but just his accuracy and the way he commands that offense is great. So number four for Ben Roethlisberger. At number three, we have Drew Brees. And he's had a couple down years, still there statistically, but he really has it all. He extends plays, awesome arm strength, so accurate, always knows where he wants to go with the football. Throws a little too many interceptions, but still, give me Drew Brees over everyone I've just talked about. All right, at number two, it's going to be Tom Brady, and these one and two, I'm assuming you know who's coming, but they're very close, so close. I think Tom is so awesome, just has all the tools you want, except for maybe speed, but he can still extend plays pretty well. He's very active in the pocket, um, but I do think he has benefited a lot from being with Bill Belichick, and I'm not trying to take anything away from Tom Brady, um, but that definitely... Uh, has been awesome for him to be able to have such a great consistent play calling and have open receivers a lot of times. Um, but still Tom Brady, so clutch, so commanding. Love Tom Brady. All right, and at number one we have Aaron Rodgers. I think that Aaron Rodgers has, if you took every tool that you want for a quarterback, arm strength, accuracy, mobility, play, play extending ability, uh, and knowledge of the game, field awareness, all of it, He's top three at every single category, which is just crazy. And I'm not just talking about active. I'm talking all time. Although, maybe not accuracy, because he does have great accuracy, but there's some really accurate quarterbacks in the NFL. So that's it for quarterbacks. We're going to move on to running backs next in a video that will come out soon. Uh, and definitely check out my Twitter, at TFG underscore football, for live tweeting of, of film breakdowns, as well as Madden ratings changes, and much more. Uh, so see you guys next time.